Alright guys, today we're going to make some Irish coffee. So before we get into it, we're just going to go over the ingredients you need to make a coffee. So first off, and most importantly, you're going to need some Irish whiskey. What Irish whiskey I'm using is Jameson today, because it's my favourite Irish whiskey. But a lot of people tend to also use Bushmills, which is also fine. Uh, as well as the coffee, very important, is our Bailey's Irish Cream. Alright, you can use any Irish cream, but again, I'm using Bailey's because it's my favourite type of Irish cream. Okay, now to get into the rest of the stuff, obviously you're going to need your coffee. Today we're going to use black and gold coffee. Uh, we're going to need some sugar. Alright, generally you use brown granulated sugar, but white sugar, which I'm using today, is also fine. Alright, also what we're going to need is some heavy whipping cream. I'm going to show you what we need that for shortly. And then, obviously, the last thing you need is your glass for the Irish coffee. Now, we don't generally put Irish coffee in a cup. It generally always goes in a glass. Usually a fancier glass than this, but this is all I have. So this is what we're going to use today. All right, let's get right into it. So first thing you need to do is you're going to brew your coffee. And what you're going to have is you're going to have your glass filled with warm water first. I've already filled it with warm water and tipped it out just so it's ready for the coffee to go into the glass and the glass doesn't crack. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our sugar. I'm just going to use a teaspoon. I'm just going to put two teaspoons of white granulated sugar in it, okay? Sugar. One and two. Awesome. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pour our coffee into the glass. We're going to fill it about three quarters up. Go. Now the reason we put about three quarters up, I'm actually going to put a touch more in there, is because we want to leave plenty of room for our whiskey and our Irish cream. Alright, so next thing is our whiskey. Now what a lot of people can do, or what a lot of people do, is they'll measure their whiskey and their Bailey's Irish cream before they put it in. Uh, I'm not going to do that, I just like to do it freehand, so you know how strong or how weak you actually want it, alright? So we just put in a little bit of whiskey there. And a little bit more for good luck if you're in the mood. Alright, good stuff. Alright, we're going to give it a stir now just to get that sugar dissolved in there. Alrighty. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add Bailey's Irish Cream. Now, you can add as much or as little as you want. The more Bailey's that you add in, the sweeter the coffee is going to be. So if you want your coffee to taste a little more like coffee, I'd put less of this in. If you want it to be a little more sweet, then put a little bit more Bailey's in. So I'm just going to put a little touch of Bailey's in because I tend to like my coffee a little bit stronger. Alright, put the Bailey's there. Alright, generally I don't stir it when the Bailey's goes in, I just let it do its thing, let it uh, set naturally. Alright, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use our whipping cream. So, I've already done it, but just for the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're just going to pour it into a little tub here. Alright. And then what you want to do for about a minute to 90 seconds, you want to whip up the cream with a spoon or a whisk or whatever you have at home. You want to want to whip it up and just keep whipping for about a minute to 90 seconds so you get the thickness that you want. All right, like I say, I've already done that, so that's what you want to do. And I have my cream in here. So the next step is putting the cream in. Now this next part, guys, do not worry if you get it wrong. I get it wrong all the time. It's a hit or miss whether you get this right, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put the Irish cream in over the back of a warm spoon, okay? You want your spoon to be warm when you do it, you just set it over the glass and you pour the cream over the back of the spoon so it sets right. Like I say guys, don't feel bad at home if you try this and it doesn't work. It might not work for me, it might. We're gonna test it and see how it goes, all right? So, all right guys, so what we're doing next is we're just gonna put the spoon over the top of the glass, then we're gonna get our Irish, not our Irish cream, our whipping cream, and put it over the back. Oh, be careful your hands don't shake just as much as mine. Alright guys, and that's how we make our Irish coffee. Now, that's not exactly the way I would like it. Again, I said, don't feel bad at home. I'm not feeling bad right now, because it's going to taste the same, but ideally what you want is just this top part, right here, the top two inches, inch or two, is where you just see the cream, and the bottom part, you see the coffee. 
Now, a couple of reasons why this might happen is I might have poured it a little bit too fast, I might have had the spoon a little bit too close to the glass, but like I say, don't feel too bad, let it settle for a minute or two, and then you can drink it, and then that's job done. All right guys, now we're gonna have Brie and Kamari come and taste test this, but before they do, just remember you can put your own twist in the Irish coffee. What I like to do sometimes, which I haven't done today because I don't have it, is put some chocolate shavings on it. So, let's have a quick taste before they come in. Oh yeah, awesome. So Sean just finished and now we're gonna taste it. All right, cheers. Shout out to Black and Bold. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's good. Mm -hmm. I don't really like coffee anymore, but I feel like this is a good teaser for people to get into coffee. Probably because it tastes nothing like coffee because it has so <laughs> much sugar in it. <laughs> but it tastes really good. And if you don't want to add alcohol, of course. Mm -hmm. That's always the fun part. Right. And what is a what is a season where you would normally drink this. So normally back home when we drink it, we drink it on Christmas time. It'd be like a Christmas tree, yeah. Because if you have it every day, it'd be it's a lot of sugar to have every day. <laughs> <laughs> and why around Christmas time? Honestly, I don't know, because you just you can just make the drink look nice and all the thing you can do is like add chocolate shavings and make it look real mm -hmm. Christmassy. So mm -hmm. I guess that's the reason why. Yeah, mm, that's good. Yeah, and so for the fam, just remember black and bold coffee. If you purchase this coffee, five percent goes back to the youth of um, black youth in the inner cities. So make sure you bring some black and bold. And shout out to Sean. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. Thank you so much for being in the Thank video. You. you guys let us know if you're gonna make this Irish coffee as well. Let us know in the comment section how it tasted for you. Um, if you are Irish and you have a different way of doing it or you like it a certain way, let us know. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Bye.